Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last couple of videos, I have been uh, showing you how to create a PDF file with the help of your C Sharp application using uh, the iText Sharp DLL. So till now, I have shown you how to add paragraphs, how to add lists, how to add pictures. And in this video, I will show you how to add a table in your PDF file using C Sharp and iText Sharp DLL. So let's see how can we do that. So we have this create PDF button which we click and this code I have been showing you in last three videos. Okay and now suppose I want to add a table below this list which was showing here so I have this list and below this list I want to show some table so what I will do is I will just go to below go below to the list code and here I will add the code for the table okay so here write this code this much to add a simple table so write pdf p table and give it a variable name is equal to new pdf p table and in this bracket this three shows it has three columns okay so whatever cell you add it will be added in the combination or in the pair of three columns so first three columns will be of first row and second three column will be of the second row so and if you add three more column they will add in the third row okay so like that so these are pairs of one row and which are three makes a pair of a row so write uh, this table declaration and then table dot add cell and whatever content you want to give in your cell here you will write so i am just writing cell uh, one column one row one so this will go into the column one and row one and uh, like that just add uh, th these lines into your code so it will add the these columns and this three will make one column one a row sorry and at last you just write doc dot add and just add this table variable here so this is the simple code to uh, generate a simple table in your PDF so let's try and run the program first and I click create PDF and when I go to my PDF file I can see a table here so column 1 row 1 column 2 row 1 column 3 row 1 column 1 row 2 column 2 row 2 and column 3 row 2 now sometimes this table is not enough we need to give some title to our table also so now i will show you how to give the title to this table so just close your program and go to your code and in this code we will add a new code to add a title so just go after your table declaration and here after the table declaration we are going to add a code for the header to your table so write this code for the header write pdf cell and give it a variable name is equal to new pdf cell and in the bracket you can give the title of uh, your header so write new phrase and in the bracket 
give your header name or header text okay and bracket closed so like that this is the header title and now we will copy this cell variable and paste it here dot column span is equal to 3 because our table is of 3 columns that's why we write here 3 so this, this cell of header will be spanned to the 3 columns it will cover 3 columns ok so this code means that once again copy the cell and paste it here dot horizontal alignment is equal to 1 so this one shows uh, that the text on the header will go to the center of your cell if you write 0 then it will go to the left of the cell and if you write 2 it will go to the right of the cell ok and then just like these table code write this table variable dot add cell and just copy and paste this cell here so this will add a header to your table ok so let's try and run our program once again and I will click create PDF and I will check my PDF once again and if you see this header is there in my table which have the span of all three columns so in this way you can add the header to your table now for example this header simple header don't look uh, like I mean good when you simply add a header to your table you need to change the font sometime you need to change the color of the cell sometimes also so now I will show you how to change the font of this header or any cell that code will apply to any cell uh, I'm just uh, writing it for this cell which is header so I will change the font and I will change the color of this header so let's see how we can do that so in our code uh, here we will go to our table uh, header phrase because we want to change the font of this uh, title phrase ok so just go there wherever you have written your phrase and in the within these brackets for pdf p cell just give here a comma ok and then give this code there Oh, I did the mistake not inside this bracket but inside this bracket so go to the code phrase and just after your phrase just give here a comma and then add this code so what does this code uh, say uh, after this comma write new itext dot text dot font and give a bracket okay so in here we are defining the properties of the font for this uh, text so, okay so write this header comma new text itext sharp dot text dot font and in the bracket write once again I text sharp dot text dot font dot whatever font you want to choose I am choosing the normal font comma the size of your font comma the once again the font type so I text dot text dot 
font dot normal okay and then write comma i text sharp dot text dot base color dot whatever color you want to give to your font okay so this is a kind of a big line so just i will try to move the screen to the code so that you will be able to write it okay so just write this code big line and this line will basically change the font of your title text so let's see if it changes the font so i just press this pdf and i will check the font and if you see this is change into yellow color and its size is really reduced because it was 8f okay so never mind you can just change the size and change the color and this is the basic code to change uh, the font and the color of your font okay so you know the code and you can play with it and the next uh, is we are going to change uh, the background color of the cell so just this cell header cell we are going to change the background color so after this uh, cell declaration just write this code cell dot background color and this will show the error because i need to add i text shop i will just copy it from here so i just need to add this i text shop dot text because this is com conflicting with the system dot drawing of c sharp that's why it's showing this error so dot base color okay so write cell dot background color is equal to new text dot i text sharp dot text dot back base color and in this bracket we are going to pass the rgb colors okay or otherwise you can also give the color like that also i think no you cannot give like that so you need to give it in rgb formation okay so like this these three uh, categories shows uh, the rgb uh, formation of color so if you know the rgb codes then you know what these three column means so th this is just a, a one color for, from the rgb code you can just google rgb and you will be able to find the color of your choice okay so write this to change the background color of your cell and i will quickly change the font size also and i will just change the color of the font also blue this time okay and i run the program and i will click this create pdf and i will check my text so this time you see that a background color of green is colored here the title cell is colored with background color of green that title font is also bigger now and title font color is also bigger now so in this way you can play with uh, the table and you can get your table correct so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now